Cool, so now I have access to my grid. I can craft some stuff from down there. I can craft it up here. Uh, this is gonna be an ender chest that is just gonna be able to put stuff back into the crafting grid, which may or may not need anymore. Uh, but actually I was gonna take this with me. A little bit of block lag. Probably transporting dimensions too much. Okay, that was weird. Just a little bit of back and forth jumping too much. So let me take this waypoint out. Can I just remove you? Because I really don't need it now. That was just because I hadn't put down my matter receiver beforehand. So we are going to come out here. And I have my pouch and I'm just going to put all of this back in here and that should just circulate back into the system. So I have my ore laser, my backpack should get me my laser drills. So we're just going to do the same setup here. I'm just going to put ore laser in the middle, circle this. And then this is where the ender chest comes in. I'm gonna put this on top. So I can do it like that. And I do need to grab an orange lens to put in here. And I do need to grab another flux point, unless I just wanna run cable out to that, which I probably don't, because I don't know if that's gonna mess up my oxygen. So a flux plug. Flux point gives energy, flux plug removes energy. So, come out here, put this down. And I'm not gonna worry about making this one look nice because it's just gonna be sitting here on the moon forever. Um, so run cables out to this. And then I need my wrench. So I can turn these around properly. And then we need to make a lens. Did I teach you lenses? I don't think I taught it lenses. I need to teach it at least a basic lens. So then I can just color it how I need to. But for now, I'm just gonna do some orange dye. I need glass panes four and I think I need latex so for this and some latex should get me that and then I'm gonna just take that back out lens and then we will go back to the moon hopefully we don't get too much lag once we transport back which it looks like we are I think that mm, that might be a problem then transporting back and forth to the moon so much it doesn't look like the matter receiver wants to work well with the moon so we might need to just keep taking rockets. Who knows? All right, back out here on the moon. I'm gonna put this in here. And then I gotta figure out what mining level we get dash at. Can I get dash ore from a laser miner? No. So it just picks up raw, okay. So biomes, lunar wastelands, which we are in between zero and 80. So um, so are we just, are we getting some yet or? So between zero and 80 and this, oh, uh, 
I thought it defaulted to 60. I think it defaults to whatever level you're on. So between 0 and 80, so we'll just stick it around 60... 9. No reason. Uh, so dash... We'll see if we start picking some up. If we do, it'll just show up in the system. Alright, I think it's just a... Waiting game. But you're not even running. Is there a reason you're not running? Because you're not connected to power yet. Now it's going to process. So we just got moon cheese. Alright, so we'll give this a minute now. I've just there's there's been so much going on. I've been jumping back and forth trying to figure out what was wrong with other stuff that I forgot to put power into this. All right, there we just got some dash. Awesome. So that seems to work. And I looked up the ingredients that I need for a space station. So I need 32 dash ingots, 32 steel ingots, 64 iron plates, and 32 dash plates, and that can get me a space station. But we need to just go ahead and focus on like a tier 2 rocket, I believe. So let me find to the stars. So visit dimension and orbit. So yeah, I need to orbit... Uh, if you have the proper materials in your inventory, you can make a space station orbiting one of the astral bodies. Uh, basically, it's an expandable skyblock structure, which generates at the same coordinates you launched from. Uh, completing either task will complete the quest. So I either need to orbit the Earth or orbit the Moon, and I think they are the same thing. Uh, with a tier one rocket, you can fly to the end. So, okay. So do I, where, wh where, how, when, why? Um, gonna put you down here. You don't have any fuel. Do I have fuel in my, somewhere? I thought I did. Maybe not. All right, so I need to work on getting fuel to this, but I didn't see the end as an option for my tier one rocket. With access to this, you can make a tier two rocket. This allows you to access Mars. This says, technically an asteroid belt with a tier one rocket you can fly to the end visit the end okay cool we'll figure that out at some point i just need to get back home and see if i can get some more fuel uh for this rocket and i don't know how long this recording has been uh, because I've been so back and forth doing other stuff. Um, Alright, so you now have fuel. It says you have fuel. Two buckets. I need one more bucket of fuel. Which, because this is stupid... I can't just pump fuel directly... So we now have three buckets of fuel. So it says it's technically an asteroid belt. So is that orbiting? Is that orbiting something? Because this is a tier one rocket. It says tier one rockets can get me to the end. solar system 
Oh, the sky's end. Maybe that's been there the whole time. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention. All right. There we go. Visit the end. Perfect. We're here. But, yeah, I don't have anything, really, that I think I can kill the Ender Dragon with. Uh, cool. So we will pop back home. Let me... Did I pick up my rocket? I think I did. Okay, cool. Ah! Okay. Home. Home. Okay. Cool. So now we know how to get to the end. I, I guess I just wasn't paying that much it's attention. Fine. So now that we're at the end, we need to uh, start working on a way to kill the Ender Dragon. And I looked at these flux-infused weapons, and I kind of want to see what's up. So uh, I started working on a little bit of stuff that I might need for that. Um, and we should be good to go. I just need to smelt this. I'm just going to come over here and throw this in. Does it have to be a blasting furnace? Redstone furnace. Okay, so an energized smelter would work. There we go. All right, so let's then get this. So a flux infused weapon. I do still need arrows probably. Um, shulker arrows, sure. I don't know what all I need for this. So there also is a flux quiver. So a flux infused quiver. I just need to make another one of these, uh, two crystals or gems, and a flux infused gear should get me a flux quiver. Cool. I don't know what arrow I just fired, probably one of these. All right. All right, I don't know what to do with this. All right, so Flux Infused Quiver is going to fill up. So if I have that, do I need arrows? It doesn't look like I do, as long as I've got the quiver. So can I put this somewhere? doesn't look like it. Alright, so this just has to stay in my hand somewhere. Alright, so let me just put these arrows away then. And it looks like as long as I've got that quiver, these will go. I don't know how powerful this is, can I enchant you? I can. So there's ways of getting like super fancy stuff. I don't even really know. Uh, so like, let me teach you how to make bookshelves. I thought I already did. Cause you should also know how to make books, right? Maybe not. Okay. So, bookshelf. You know how to make books now. But there, there's like fancy enchants and stuff like that that you can get with a different mod. I'm not super worried about that right now. I need two leather. Is there another way to make books? With 
canvas. Canvas is made with straw. Do I have any more straw? No. Okay, so I just need to like get some cows. Or I, I, mean, I don't need to make 20. I think I just need to make like 16. Alright, so we'll make those super quick. And then I'm just going to move this enchantment table downstairs. And we'll just make a quick enchanting table setup. I now have Volley, Soulbound, Holding 5, Quick Shot 3, Power 5, and Multi Bow on the bow. And then I just really have holding six and soulbound on the quiver. So, I mean, it, it may not be the best bow, but I think it'll get the job done quick enough. Like, I'm not trying to be insane with this. Um, so I need to put more fuel in the rocket. Uh, so for that, I need buckets. At least three buckets of fuel. Oh, well, there we go. One, two, three. I forgot that I'd already put buckets in here. All right, so. One, two, three. And we should be good to go to the end. And we're just gonna take out this dragon, hopefully super quick. I don't know how quick. We are here, back in the end. And we can fly, so it's not going to be too difficult. I didn't even realize that she had three heads. I did not bring a melee weapon. Four cages. Oh gosh. This is harder than I thought. Stop it. Ooh, my god. There are little baby dragons. Oh, I was not prepared for this. Did not know what to expect, but it wasn't tiny baby dragons. Alright, this is going to be a minute. I'm just going to fly around super slow and take out all of these things. All right, one or two more shots. Oh no! Oh no! And I have no way back to the end. Oh no! Uh, do I have another rocket? All right, well that, oh no! <laughs> Um, uh, hmm. All right, give me a, give me a minute. So I will say, I guess it's a really good thing that I put Soulbound on my arrows. Because otherwise I would not be able to get back here. And really, I only need like one more good shot. There we go. That's all it took. <laughs> Fantastic. And I lost like a hundred something levels because I didn't put them all back in my thing. Um, cool. So also... My thing is up there. My gravestone is up there. And I have no way of getting to it. 
Oh no. All right, we're gonna have to like go and get some blocks, I guess. And just pillar back up there. And I think I'm gonna have to make another rocket. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Got all my stuff back. And now I have two extra rockets. Maybe even three. I have three rockets because I had to take one to get here and two to get back. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's work on picking up this thing. And it's going to teleport somewhere. And then we'll do the torch trick. Perfect. All right, so where does that leave us? <laughs> to the stars. Cool. Visited the end. Beat the dragon. Do I get anything for the monster hunter on that? Kill the ender dragon triton. Three-headed monstrosity. Once you've made it to the end, fight and defeat the dragon. Uh... After this, you are free to play how you choose. Everything is open to you now. If you want a more extreme challenge, check out Overpowered. Okay, so... Kill the Ender Dragon Trigon. I don't think I did, so why can't I choose? I don't know. All right. So cool. What is that? It's like a... Super fancy phantom. He wasn't so strong. All right, uh, let me get rid of my death waypoint. All right, so we can either start exploring some of these. Uh, did one of those like portal things open? Does that happen in this version? Yeah, right over there. So I know that we need to like explore a city and stuff like that. We do need to explore the end a bit more. That's another thing that we need to do. But if we want to keep going with Ad Astra, we could start working towards a space station. So I think let's do that. So I'm going to find out where I am in the episode, and we will be right back. We have a little bit of time left in this episode. I'm trying not to push over 30 minutes, so we might try to get around like 25. So I need 32 dash ingots, 32 steel ingots, 64 iron plates, and 32 dash plates uh, to make a space station. So if I just do this, I've already taught my system how to make most of that stuff. So I'm just going to prep all of that, and then the next segment of this is just going to be, like, seeing what a space station is all about. I think I'm just about ready. I've got 32 dash plates, 32 steel ingots, 64 iron plates, and 32 dash plates. I have had those mixed up. So 32 ingots, 32 plates, 32 ingots, 64 plates. I'm also bringing myself another oxygen distributor, an ender tank a flux plug, some network stuff uh, for refined storage, a matter receiver, and my charge porter as always. 
that should be enough that once I'm up there, I'll be able to craft some stuff. Let me also get just some building blocks of some kind. Um, probably some glass. Because I don't know what it's going to look like once I'm up there. Um, well, once, once I get up there, I'll have this with me so as long as I'm good on oxygen I should be okay uh, let me grab one of my hundreds of rockets we're just gonna drop that there grab three buckets of fuel and put those in here And then we are good to go. Uh, I don't know where I want to put a space station. I really don't even know if I need one. I just want to make one to complete the quest. So you can either build one like around the moon or around the earth. And I don't know the benefits of either. So there's no gravity, that's for one thing. All right, so Earth. So I can either build, I can either orbit or I can build a space station. So they're both required the same amount. Let's build one around the Earth. All right, and then we'll just drop, and then once we get to a certain height, we will hold space to descend slower. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had more time. Oh well, that's fine. All right, cool, so here's our space station. Some of it blew up, maybe. Uh, yeah, it looks like this came from up here. Cool, all right. So how do I get, I want to get in there. <laughs> but this gravity is annoying. Okay. Uh, some of this probably went here. <laughs> All right. So this looks like our space station. Very cool. So some of this is already, I mean, most of this is already built, it looks like. So it's really just determining how I want to build everything out. Don't know where all of this went. I thought I had more time to slow my descent, but I guess not. It looks like maybe it all went there. This doesn't matter other than just making it Nice for myself. Okay, cool. Um, that doesn't need to go there for sure, because then, so maybe here to stop me from jumping so high. All right, so then down here. So this kind of looks like a spot to be able to put a, um, like a maintenance door to be able to just have oxygen down here. 
All right, so I'm going to put a network receiver. We will put our crafting grid. So receiver, crafting grid. I'm going to put the oxygen distributor here. Inter tank on top. Outputting. We need our flux plug. I think I grabbed the wrong thing. I did. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this can go connect to that. Our matter receiver. Let's put it back here. up at the very top so that way when I come in I'm out here well do I want to be out here we'll think of something all right um, this looks like it could be used for something so oxygen distributor needs power. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put cables here for when I put my plug there. So I just need to go home. Well, here, let me set this as a destination. I think I can get like one or two free trips. I'm not 100% sure. So that has zero power to it, so I do not want to teleport there. Um, it's all right, I have more rockets. All right, so let's go home. Let's grab a flux point. plug let's go ahead and put down our network transmitter and let's go ahead and grab our final rocket I have one more so not our final rocket hopefully it'll be our final rocket there Fuel. And I'll skip all of this this time.
Alright, so I tried going back to my space station, but it wouldn't let me. I don't know why, but it wouldn't let me. So I'm going to figure that out if I can. But you guys saw me make it, so I don't know. We'll figure that part out. But we're just going to chill back here on the moon for a minute and see what's up. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we're going to see where we need to go next. So I got that. So I do need to... Uh, do a moon orbit as well. Basically, an expendable. Basically, generates the same coordinates you launched from. Completing either task will complete the quest. I don't know. It looks like I might need to do this too. I don't know. So we just need to then start working on. We could probably make a moon rover. That would be cool. And then we can start doing tier two rockets and getting to different planets. All right. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you later.